Hey everybody, my name is Attila Toth. I'm a developer advocate at Timescale. In this video, I'm going to uh, show a demo of uh, the pre-built superset uh, NFT dashboard, which is part of the Timescale NFT starter kit. What is that? The NFT starter kit is a step-by-step -step guide that shows you how to collect, store, analyze, and visualize NFT data from OpenSea, uh, specifically NFT sale transactions um, uh, from using the OpenSea API. Uh, the uh, starter kit has multiple components, as I will show you later, uh, and it's basically uh, a blueprint for you to get started with uh, analyzing NFTs. If you are interested in NFTs, uh, or you just want to learn more about NFTs from a data-driven perspective. And so in this video, we'll focus on the dashboard that you can see uh, on the screen, uh, how, to build, how to build this. And it's actually going to be uh, really quick because everything is dockerized. Uh, and I will show you how to build, uh, build out this, this Docker image uh, with a preloaded sample data, uh, a local timescale DB instance, with the data, obviously, and an Apache Superset dashboard like this one. Uh, so the first thing uh, you will need to do is, dump, uh, is uh, to clone the GitHub repository uh, of the NFT starter kit. I also, link in the description, by the way, uh, I also highly suggest checking out the tutorial, which is also part of the NFT starter kit, uh, which provides a more detailed explanation about things like the schema used for this project to store NFT uh, data, uh, about more info about the ingestion script, and also a lot more. Uh, the tutorial goes a lot more uh, uh, into the details of uh, running queries and analysis on the data. Uh, and you can also find uh, useful instructions uh, in the uh, on, in the, on the GitHub, in the GitHub uh, repository and, and the README. So what we will do now uh, is basically this part. We will set up the pre-built superset uh, dashboard. So let me uh, clone the uh, repository. Um, so you need to go clean uh, git, uh, sorry, git uh, clone the repository. This will pull the whole project uh, with all the starter kit components. Um, we will see in a second. So once it's downloaded, uh, let me um, open the NFT starter kit folder to see the components uh, of the starter kit. As I mentioned, uh, you can find the uh, ingestion script, uh, which is a, a Python script, which pulls data from OpenSea and loads the data into uh, a database that you can specify in the config uh, uh, file. Then here's the queries uh, SQL file, which includes a lot of analytical queries to get you started with your uh, NFT analysis uh, journey. Uh, but what we are focusing on now is the pre-built dashboards folder. So let me open that folder because this folder has all the components that you need to build out the superset dashboard. And we also provide a Grafana collections JSON file, which you can use to import into Grafana and uh, see visualizations on, on the Grafana instance. Uh, so to build out the superset uh, uh, dashboard, uh, you just need to run one comment, which is docker compose com uh, comment. So as described in the GitHub readme, you will need uh, Docker and Docker Compose for this project to work. But once you have those, you will just need to run the Docker Compose up command uh, with build. And uh, this will build out a local timescale DB instance uh, and the local superset instance in separate Docker containers. Uh, and also it will preload a uh, sample data, which is dimension data set of more than 500,000 uh, sale transactions from the first week of October. Uh, so this will uh, this will uh, this process will take somewhere between uh, between two and four minutes depending on your internet speed. Uh, so I'm going to skip this part and come back when the process is uh, finished. All right, uh, a couple of minutes left. Uh, the process is finished. 
And as you can see, uh, this line, this indicates that uh, timescale DB is ready to go. Also, if, if you scroll up a little bit, uh, you will see these lines which uh, indicate that superset has been also set up uh, properly. And uh, you, you can also find a link to log into superset right here, but it's also included in the GitHub uh, readme. So you need to click here to uh, open the superset uh, login page. Here you can use the username uh, admin with the password also admin to log in. You can configure this uh, later if you want, but this is just to get you started. So admin, admin, you sign in. And uh, very important before you do anything else, uh, you need to make sure that Superset can actually uh, uh, fetch data from uh, Timescale DB. So you go data, databases, and here you will see exactly one item called the NFT starter kit. And you need to uh, go to the right side uh, to edit this uh, item. And you don't need to change anything here. You just need to click finish. This will make sure the superset can actually access the data that is inside Timescale DB. So if you click finish, uh, you can go to dashboards now. And you can see that we have two uh, separate dashboards, one for assets and one for collections. So maybe let's have a look at assets. So this is the assets, uh, assets dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is using uh, data from Timescale DB and uh, Timescale DB has uh, the sample data uh, loaded, which you can also find uh, in the GitHub repository. And basically the way this dashboard works also, uh, it's very similar how the, the other dashboard works. Um, basically on the top uh, left, you have uh, an assets filter you need to provide uh, the asset ID of the NFT uh, that you want to learn more about or that you are interested in. And, uh, and if you don't know an asset ID on top, of your, on top of your head, that's fine. You can look at the right side of the dashboard and uh, which includes uh, the, uh, some of the most often traded NFTs uh, from the sample data. Uh, and uh, let me pull this here uh, and and you can get an asset id uh from there as well and and once uh maybe we can choose one uh um maybe we can choose uh this one as an example so you just copy this asset id uh also you can uh, choose one from the uh drop down list uh but i paste this asset id now and then you go apply and then all the other charts will be updated. Uh, and so in, uh, in this table, you can see, uh, uh, well, first of all, an image of the NFT, which is actually clickable. So if you, can, if you want to click on this item, this will open up the OpenSea page of that NFT that you are analyzing right now, which is this uh, uh, NFT right here. Uh, and in this table, we also have the asset name, uh, which is page in this case, and the uh, and the mean uh, price of the NFT uh, um, from using using the sample data. And then scrolling down, uh, we see a few uh, uh, time series uh, charts. First of all, we have daily volume. Uh, which basically indicates uh, the daily volume of one on the specific NFT in Ether. So this is not the count of the trades or, or the amount of trades. This is the volume in uh, the in cryptocurrency Ether. And you can see how it changes over time. Uh, in the middle, we have daily volume uh, in trade count. So this is actually showing the amount of trades that happened uh, on a specific day. And you can see how it changes over time. And on the right side, uh, you can see the average, uh, uh, the mean and the median price uh, of the asset and uh, how it changes over time. Now, one more uh, interesting feature that you might want to try is that you can compare two uh, NFTs. So for example, if you want to compare the, this current NFT uh, with this one, uh, 
which has the highest uh, volume, uh, or it, it's it's most often traded. Uh, so you, you can copy the, uh, the asset ID and include that in the filter as well. So now you have two asset IDs in the filter and you can apply uh, the filter and this will update the charts. And now if we go, if we go here, you can see both uh, the page NFT and you can see the other, other NFT, which is the uh, 888 Genesis NFT. And you can see how they how their prices, or sorry, the daily volume in Ether uh, correlates and then in the middle uh, uh, you can see how they are related when it comes to uh, the uh, amount of uh, trades for each uh, assets and then also the mean and uh, and median uh, prices for for both assets so this is one of the dashboards that we that we have built uh, this is a very simple dashboard. You can definitely, and you are encouraged to build on top of this. Uh, you can uh, edit this dashboard anytime. You can add new charts. You can add new charts. Uh, you can uh, modify this. Uh, so this really should be just a starting point if you are interested in analyzing NFTs uh, or if you are interested in, um, in, uh, in, uh, uh, you know, learning about the NFT market from a data perspective. Uh, so this is one of our dashboards. The other, oh, and one important thing that you might be interested in. So as I said, this dashboard uses uh, Timescale DB under the hood. And uh, and you can, if you're interested in technical details, you can look uh, into the GitHub repository and you can look into uh, some of the uh, scripts that we use to build out this Docker image, but basically the whole dashboard is fueled by uh, continuous aggregates, which makes it really fast. Uh, and even when you load data, uh, it, 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 it will stay uh, relatively flat fast. So the charts on the dashboard will be uh, updated uh, uh, relatively fast if you uh, modify the filters. So now let me let us look at the other dashboard, uh, which is for collections. So this dashboard works uh, in a very similar fashion. You have a collection uh, filter on the on the left side. Uh, here you you don't need to provide an ID. You need to provide the, a collection slug because that's a unique identifier of a collection. Uh, in this example, we are looking at CryptoPunks, which is a, a popular uh, NFT collection. You can see in the middle the most expensive items sold sold uh, in this period, uh, uh, which in the case of the sample data, it's one week, the first week of October. Uh, and so, for example, uh, this NFT uh, was sold for a price of 450 Ether uh, on the day of uh, uh, 3rd of October. Uh, and if you want to learn more about this NFT, you can click on the image and open it on a new tab. Uh, this will open the OpenSea page of the NFT and uh, you can, uh, you know, make sure the, the price is correct. Uh, and here you can see also the uh, the sale event and that it's indeed uh, was sold for 450 uh, Ether as it's presented on the dashboard. Uh, on the top right, you can see the collections with the highest volume. Um, you can use this uh, table also to uh, um, to you know copy paste the slug into the filter, uh, but also it just you know use, it can be useful information if you're interested in the uh, highest volume collections. Uh, scrolling down, we also have a. Uh, uh, two, uh, well, three uh, time series charts. Similarly, as on the other chart, we have the daily uh, number of NFT transactions. And uh, I don't remember if I show you, but showed you in the uh, previous dashboard. But you can change the the uh, the uh, time frame uh, of the chart. So that might be useful if you want to focus on a very uh, specific time frame. And on the right side, similarly as before, the daily Ether volume uh, of NFT transactions. And important, this is looking at all the uh, assets 
in that all the NFTs in that uh, in that specific collection, which in this case is uh, the CryptoPunks collection. And then finally, uh, we have the mean and median sale uh, prices uh, over time for CryptoPunks. Uh, now you can change this uh, collection slug to something else. Maybe if you want to analyze uh, CryptoKitties, which is also another uh, popular NFT. Now all the charts are updated to reflect CryptoKitties uh, values. Uh, and also what you can do, you can combine CryptoKitties with another um, with another uh, collection. So let's combine or compare CryptoKitties with CryptoPunks, uh, apply the filter, and this will uh, give us uh, basically the comparison uh, between do these two collections. We can see how they are related, if they are correlated, uh, how the uh, uh, volume of these two collections change over time, both in the, in the, in the number of transactions and both in the ether, uh, the cryptocurrency volume. And we can also see the median and, uh, and uh, the mean prices. All right, so uh, these two dashboards uh, are included in the in the superset uh, uh, component of the star record, but we highly suggest that you you know use this as a starting point. And you know, as I said, you can always edit this dashboard. You can include new queries. Uh, um, you can uh, use the tutorial. Um, uh, from the starter kit to, to come up with new queries or modify those queries that are in the tutorial, link in the description. Um, so I hope this was interesting and useful. Uh, if you are interested in NFTs or if you're interested uh, in analyzing uh, NFTs, I think this is a, a really uh, good project for you to get started with. And uh, one more interesting uh, or one more you. Um, information is that uh, we are giving away um, uh, timescale EON NFTs uh, for those uh, who uh, complete the tutorial uh, for the first 20 people. Uh, so we created this uh, collection called Time Travel Tigers. Uh, shout out to the uh, shout out to the timescale design team. Uh, they designed 20 uh, unique um, Eon uh, NFT with different char characteristics. So if you are interested in uh, winning, you cannot buy this NFT, you can earn this NFT by being one of the 20 people who complete the NFT starter kit tutorial, um, which is available uh, in the timescale documentation, link in the description. And if you complete it, you might win uh, an Eon NFT. All right, so I hope this was useful. Um, check the links in the description and uh, see you later.